What you doing, killer? Good morning. Good morning. Like most experienced campers, I have plenty of little flamethrowers and starter logs and other things inside my truck, but some mornings it's just fun to try and build a fire from last night's coals. The feeling of success that comes with watching the flames ignite is, it's just fun to me. I've had a bunch of firewood sitting in my storage room for, I don't know, probably the last year. And I'll tell you, when the storage room heats up to 120 degrees, it really does a good job at drying this wood out. My friends Shannon and Wade introduced me to this campsite about a year ago, and falling asleep listening to this stream is incredible. Good morning, everyone. This is going to be a little bit different video because uh, the truck looks a little bit empty. So... As a few of you know, we recently sold our GoFast camper, and while we wait on our next camper to be built, which will be probably four or five months, we're doing something a little bit different. We, uh, we sold our GFC, and now we're sleeping on the ground. And it's probably been 10 to 15 years since I've slept on the ground. I'm a hammock camper. I've been a hammock camper way before we did uh, rooftop tents or anything like that so it's weird to go back to sleeping in the ground but I gotta tell you this tent is really really awesome so this is the gazelle tent um, it sets up extremely fast so each of the four walls and the roof have this kind of bent shape you can see it right here so what happens is you push this shape when it's packed up, it's in like this, and then you just pop it out. And you do that for each of the four sides and the roof, and it's done. It sets up nearly as fast as my Go Fast Camper. And uh, as for a room, well, check this out. So this thing is massive. As you can tell, I'm standing up with plenty of room above me. It's about six and a half feet in the middle, and let's see, you're not even touching the other wall, and I can't touch this wall. It is huge. It's supposed to be a four-person tent. Um, I have my one little air mattress in here, and enough room to fit plenty of other stuff. Uh, as you can see, the roof is a nice mesh. Um, it comes with a rain fly you can stick over when necessary storage pockets in the top storage pockets on all the sides and even these right here are more storage so tons of storage easy setup lots of ventilation between the roof and all these windows um, I am I'm really happy with this with this oh and as for price well, it is a lot better than I would have thought. So this tent is under $300, which to me is pretty impressive. The zippers on this thing are really high quality. The material is nice and thick. It's huge, it's easy to set up. Uh, it comes with, like I said, the, the rain fly. You can, <coughs> excuse me, I got some, <coughs> got some ash in my throat from getting that fire going. Um, so you can stake it out. It's about 30 pounds, and when I pack it up today, you'll see how big it is. Unfortunately, it is pretty large. Um, the bag that it comes in is super nice, but it's not the most compact. So it can't actually lay in the back of my five foot bed um, straight. I had to put it at an angle, which means it's a little bit over five feet long. Not a huge deal for us, just, uh, you know, more of a FYI, if you're thinking about getting one, um, they have it in bright orange and green. I could have gotten the orange to match the truck, but then it stands out, and sometimes you want to set up a tent back in the woods and not make it uh, quite so obvious. So, anywho, I think we're going to start working on breakfast. This is our Alps Mountaineering table, and it has become a staple of our camping. Uh, it's relatively quick to set up, 
stable enough and most importantly it really adds the perfect amount of space to put a camp stove or obviously our little jet boil or even to sit around with four people and play cards or just eat a meal it's really really handy So this was a really awesome anniversary present from my wife. I've been wanting to pick up a jet boil for a while and just never did, never justified the money. But after this last Colorado trip uh, and using mats almost every day, <laughs> Sarah determined it was about time I had one too. So everything packs down. I'm sure you guys have seen these before, but Everything packs in here pretty small, so got the main container, the burner, I have the Java press with mine, which we'll use in here in a minute, and then this is, this stacks on top if you want to use like a regular pod or pan. And then it's not necessary on this, but this opens up as a nice level spot and holds the uh, fuel can. So if I can stop bumping the table, we'll get this going real quick helps if you flip out the control nozzle. Otherwise, you get it all screwed together and can't turn on the gas. Threads on here. These have little slots. So it drops in, twist to lock. And then we'll add some water and get this thing going. So I definitely did not let this steep long enough. I waited maybe five minutes and I definitely should have waited a little bit longer or maybe I needed to put a little more coffee in there because when I poured it, it was a little bit light for my liking. So I actually poured the coffee back in uh, and cooked it a little bit more and then let it sit a little bit longer and it was much better. And while I'm over here fighting with a single cup of coffee, Shannon has made some incredible blueberry pancakes. So I'm sitting here getting ready to take this gazelle tent down. And I just, I have to say I'm really, really impressed with all the little features. Uh, the zipper has a rain guard that comes down and around just to keep it protected so that, you know, rain can't soak that zipper. Um, the poles easily removable and replaceable both the top ones and the inside ones the entire floor zips out no sorry it velcros out it's just held in by velcro so you need to take it and shake it out easily done just every little feature about this tent is really well thought out and i'm super impressed with it They really did think of everything when they were making this tent. For example, it comes with a couple of Velcro straps to wrap around the tent, just to help it fit in the bag a little bit easier. I think that the more I use it, the faster I'll get, but even the three minutes it took me to put this completely away is not too shabby. Even the, the handle is padded and it comes with straps to help cinch it down. 
really, really nice grab handles here and here. High quality zippers. No problem fitting it in the bag. Definitely a well thought out and well designed tent. It's a little large, but other than that, just about perfect. Hey guys, I hope you like this midweek video. Don't worry, our Colorado trip will still be coming out soon, but this was the last weekend. I just wanted to kind of show you the changes that had happened to the truck. So be sure to like and subscribe, stick around, and we'll see you on the next one.